everyone. So today I am doing a bit of reorganization of the garden because there's some plants that I know aren't going to be growing in the spot where the containers are. There's some stuff I want to move out of the garden just because, again, I don't have a huge amount of space. So anything that I don't really use on a regular basis, I'm going to take out and store on the back deck. And then what I'm actually going to start with first, and I'm very excited about, is I finally got the cart that I ordered from, I think it's Deer Park Ironworks. There's just pieces strewn about me right now. So I'm gonna put this together first and then hopefully take it outside into the garden. So I got this for a few different reasons. First of all, I'm looking for ways to add more vertical space to the garden. And one thing that I have to be very careful of is the wind up here. If you remember my greenhouse, that blew away. Things topple over pretty easily. I mean, it's not as bad as it could be because we do have the brick wall along the garden which is I'd say roughly about three feet a little bit over three feet tall so that cuts out some of the wind but really anything over can blow over pretty easily this I think will be heavy enough that I won't have that issue I'm also going to store some pots on it so I like to be able to store things in a way that looks pretty in my garden it just makes me happy so I'm hoping to use it as kind of like a storage space for pots that I'm going to use um, maybe my soil stuff like that but also to hang plants on. So there's a canopy, which is actually this area right here, that I think I saw online people hanging like flower baskets from. So that'll be a good way to add vertical space too. So I'm really excited to have this. I hope that once I put it together, well that one, I'll be able to put it together successfully. Um, and that two, I'll just really love it as much as I think I'm going to. Um, so I'm gonna put this together first and let me actually pull the instructions. Where can I put those? Here we go. So I am a person that does enjoy the challenge of putting like Ikea and stuff like that together, but it can also get uh, pretty stressed if it's not going the way that I plan. So I just thought this was interesting. The instructions here, there's basically one photo with the steps around it, but the steps are numbered, but not in order. So like step eight is here, step nine, step four, step three, step six. So I'm hoping I can follow this and get it all together on my own. I might have to call my husband up here to help me. We shall see, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this right now. Here she is. I'm really happy with how it looks all put together. It was also pretty easy to do on my own. I think it took about 10 minutes maximum. Uh, there are some like extra screws and two washers and the washers weren't even mentioned in the instructions or on the list of what's included. So I'm just going to ignore those pieces and assume that it is put together fine. So now we just need to wheel it right out there to the garden. I 
I absolutely love it out here. I think the brown of the metal that I got goes with the brown of the garden. Ignore the trash can. That's the stuff I'm going to move and rearrange a little bit, but I think this is just perfect. I'm gonna be able to store so much on here, have some pretty flowers hanging, and it does seem like it'll be secure enough in the wind. Again, since I'm gonna store stuff on here, it will also weigh it down. I will keep you updated if this does get blown away, like my greenhouse, but <laughs> I have a feeling that it won't. But oh my gosh, I am just so happy. Okay, so now I'm gonna clean up and move some stuff off of the deck. So let me show you what I'm planning to do. It's not a ton that I'm really moving, but it'll just give me a little bit more space. First off, first tulips are blooming. These are not ones that I planted myself. These I got from Home Depot this spring because I was too impatient waiting for the ones that I planted myself. But I think it's funny, I got this and this at the same time, and this one is definitely far ahead of this one. So they might not even be blooming at the same time. Uh, I also have herbs, which I'm going to be potting up soon. Just getting some sun today since it's warm. Uh, the dahlias are outside today. I'll be moving this, these all back in this evening. Uh, over here, just have a bunch more pots and seedlings. So, I don't know, I kind of feel like until it's going to be warm enough to keep them outside, all this stuff is going to continue to move out. But what I am going to do, so these two window boxes and then the trellises, I'm going to move them from here because the plan is to grow flowers up them, but I'm also going to put my dahlias here, and the dahlias will basically block what's growing up here. Um, so what I think I'm going to do, well, I'm kind of going back and forth, because I think if I plant the morning glories, they'll grow super quickly up the trellises, still deciding 100% if I'm just going to go for it, but I think I am. Um, but eventually the dahlias will cover them, so I don't know if it's really worth having them there. So I think what I'm going to do is move them over to this wall where I have the hose hookup just an outlet so I'm gonna keep those clear actually I could cover the outlet because I don't really plug anything in but I'm gonna move all of this stuff the mulch hose has to stay here obviously but all the stuff that I'm not using on a regular basis over to the back deck and then this will give me more wall space here to actually actually grow flowers up something else that might be an issue is this spot so it is a little bit afternoon right now so it doesn't really get sun until I don't know maybe two o'clock in the afternoon and then until the sun sets but the trees behind me also block it so I don't know if they'll get enough sun but this is all stuff we will figure out for now I'm gonna go ahead and start moving the stuff where I want it to be Okay, now I'm uncertain because right now it just looks so empty. I know it's gonna fill in with the dahlias. I mean, they came above the wall last year. So I know I just have to be patient, but it just feels so empty now. And I did like the look of the trellises there, but again, they're gonna be covered. So right now, this is what it looks like over here. I do kind of enjoy how it's just making the hose area prettier. So it's kind of, you know, flanking each side of that. I don't know, let me know your thoughts. I could just put them here until things start to grow and then move them, but I'd rather get the drip and everything hooked up in the relatively permanent spots in the containers. I don't know, let me know your thoughts below. Now some things that have not gone as planned. The mulch, I forgot that is way too heavy for me to carry up, so trying to carry it to the back deck and then back when I need it, I'm just gonna leave it here on this side of the deck. Same thing with the compost. I mean, I'm still using the compost. I'm gonna use it in a little bit to pot up my herbs. This is a second bag of compost, so I think right now I'll just like tuck them behind the garbage can over there. Here we go now. Bags are just tucked up behind there. Could look worse. I mean, I'll eventually get through this. Something I've been contemplating is getting like a 
little garbage can or something to put soil and compost in. Again, just so it looks nice while it's stored, but I don't know if I want to put that much effort into it, so we'll see. But here is what it looks like for now. And then over there. I feel like I also need someone to remind me to not wear white while I'm out in the garden, I think because I was working inside first, I didn't even think about it. I don't think I got dirty, which is pretty impressive. Um, but I think that's gonna be everything for today. So just a little bit of reorganization on the deck. Super excited about the cart. I will definitely show how I'm going to, I don't know, make it look pretty and decorate it with plants in a video. I might wait though until like after frost so I can get the plants that I wanna put up there for the summer. Definitely some petunias. I think that'll look really pretty trailing down from the canopy. So. We'll see, that is all to come, but thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.